If it's Monday, voters are about to head to the polls in battleground Georgia, Texas, and beyond as the former president's election lies take center stage on the right and the battle over abortion looms large on the left. We've got all the late breaking news from the campaign trail coming up. Plus, President Biden warns China that the U.S. will defend Taiwan if Beijing decides to invade, as his Pentagon chiefs brief reporters about the U.S. military strategy in Europe and beyond. And later, what's going on with monkeypox? President Biden says everybody should be concerned about the latest outbreak. I'll speak with the top White House national security official on biosecurity coming up. Welcome to Meet the Press Daily. I'm Garrett Hake and for Chuck Todd. And another week means another big election night is almost here with primaries in Alabama, Arkansas and above all, Georgia, in addition to runoff elections in Texas tomorrow night. The big spotlight of the night will be on Georgia. It's a key battleground for Senate control in the midterms and a hugely important presidential battleground in There's the music. It's a Tuesday. Voters are voting in Georgia, Texas, Alabama, and Arkansas. It's SEC primary day. Where's Paul Feinbaum? Both parties chart a course for the November midterms. Plus, we've got the latest on the ground in battleground Pennsylvania as the Republican Senate candidates battle for control of the vote count in a razor tight race that is heading for a recount. Key deadline takes place today. And breaking just last hour, NBC News confirms that the FBI has been investigating an apparent plot by an Ohio man claiming ties to ISIS and a plot that he developed to assassinate former President George W. Bush. We've got all the details coming up. Welcome to Meet the Press Daily. I'm Chuck Todd. As I said, voters are voting in SEC country. And there's the music. That's right. It is a special Meet the Midterms edition of Meet the Press Daily. We've got an SEC slate today. Primary elections in Alabama, Arkansas, and Georgia, as well as runoff elections. Welcome to Meet the Press Daily. I'm Chuck Todd on another somber day in this country as another community go, comes to grips with the horror of a mass shooting, this one at an elementary school. In about a half an hour, we do expect an update from Texas officials, including the governor, Greg Abbott, and both of the state's U.S. senators on yesterday's shooting at Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. Nineteen children and two teachers were killed in that shooting. So was the gunman. Police say the shooter, armed with an AR-style rifle and wearing the type of vest tactical teams use, entered the school, barricaded himself in a classroom, and opened fire. Police say they eventually had... 